judges, esteemed colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, how my passions impact the world. I am a rebel. Albert Camus once remarked, I rebel, therefore we exist. Ladies and gentlemen, a rebel is a catalyst for change, and my humanity is a product of my socialization, and my passions derive from the emancipatory quest of my ancestors. Now to define the word passion is to summon excitement, enthusiasm, zeal, delight, and fervor. As a rebel, the world has come to know of my passions for justice, self-reclamation, redemption, knowledge, and knowledge. These passions, these strivings, emanate from a restlessness that stirs within. Like a haunting, I continuously yearn for a post-plantation healing. The yearning is in the way I pursue development. It must offer social protection, economic well-being, and gender equity. I insist on the right to self-determination. This is the legacy of a passion for justice, marked by the social struggles of our enslaved rebels, like Sam Sharp, Danny Gray, Bustle, Taki, and the Maroons. My passion for knowledge, to produce stories and theories, these have impacted the world. I have stirred moral consciousness about the wrongs and effects of slavery. More than these stirrings, I overturn a colonial script that insists I produce culture while they, as my imperial master, produces knowledge. You know, were it not for Eric Williams, Capitalism and Slavery, and Bob Marley's redemption song, I could not appreciate Austin Clark's growing up stupid under the Union Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, I insist, I insist on being a rebel. I give the world my passion for life. From the bottle and spoon to the oil drum, I invented steel pan. And together with the box guitar, I produced different creolized musical styles. I also gave the world mass. Now the world is riveted by its spectacle. Every city wants a carnival, but in their dictionaries there are no entries for the word mass. This is my street theater, where human energy is released on an astounding scale, where people dance the cloth and the costume becomes the people, where the music can be infectious and the lyrics subversive, and where behind the mask, I play with my class, race, age, and gender. The passion is in my release. My release from Eurocentric ideals of beauty, of sexuality, and of spirituality. Release from the strictures of the IMF and austerity. Release from the policing of women's right to be. Release in the spontaneous joy that I exude in every wicket or boundary struck. Release from the everyday gossip into the manner of my being. I remain a rebel, unshackled, and unbounded. My passions bear the imprint of those who have walked before me. And my agency transcends boundaries.
like a contradiction in terms. It probably is, except that busy people make the time to do everything that they have to do and more. 